Let's get Media Watch for you now. James Creedon is with us uh, in the studio. Hi, Hello there, James. Uh, you've been looking at uh, more reaction to what happened in Algeria last night when the uh, long-serving president stepped down. That's right. Uh, indeed, uh, he has now written a letter of... Uh, he's a letter of apology in some respects to the people because he had to rush out of power. He was basically given an ultimatum. He would said two days ago, I'll leave by the 28th of April. And then the army more or less said, actually... Could you just go now, please? And so within the hour he left... Not sure about the please. Right. Could you just leave? <laughs> so now he's actually sort of playing catch-up on, I suppose, the protocol aspects. And he is, as was his habit over the last number of years, he's written a letter to the Algerian people because he can't speak for the last number of years. Oh, yeah, we haven't heard his voice would, since 2013, I think. You would think that would disqualify somebody from being a head of state, but maybe not. And he wrote a letter which has been published... In newspapers saying That's sorry, right. essentially. But I'm going to focus on the humour because it's been ah, so yes, central please. to the Algerian revolution. This is uh, El Mancha, which is uh, the sort of the onion of Algeria. And they've been cracking <laughs> jokes mercilessly for the last six weeks. Uh, here he is tweeting, uh, Algerians, uh, it's all my fault. Uh, I uh, completely take into account that I unjustly ignored you for all of these years. I bitterly regret this and I ask for your, for your uh, forgiveness. Can we start all over again? Fresh start? Kisses? <laughs> Kisses everywhere. And then sure this is <laughs> this is also El Manchar. Uh, and last night they were intimating in this satirical headline that he kind of went back to the presidential palace one last time because he forgot his phone charger. In other words, like, <laughs> they can't get rid of the guy, you know. Um, anyway, this is Dilem, the cartoonist, saying, good Ooh. riddance. There is the official portrait in the trash can. Spectacular fall from grace because he was a national hero, wasn't he, of course? That's it. That's it. But like you, you'd, you'd almost forget about that. Look, look, these are some further cartoons. Brexit, Bootexit. Uh, there's been lots of Brexit punning, uh, cunning, flexit. punning, boot of flexit. That's Dilem again. And yes, as you said, he was a national hero. He had a, has a very illustrious past. Mm. Uh, this is uh, Bloomberg.com. Ousted by protest, Bouteflika was once Algeria's saviour. You have tweets also pointing out, uh, as uh, this person retweeting Le Monde here, that he had, you know, he, he from, for somebody who's interested in history, this guy was a contemporary of every president of the Fifth Republic in France, going back to Charles de Gaulle. It's sort of the same kind of long... It, maybe only Queen Elizabeth could vie with this sort of longevity in terms of uh, seeing various political figures come and go and still being around. Yeah. Uh, obviously, he wasn't president all that time, but uh, he was a kind of a major political figure uh, in Algeria. Now, others pointing out that the Algerian revolution was a very, was a very special kind, marked by peaceful, resist, peaceful resistance, solidarity between all demonstrators, unity. People are really yeah, fetching it was great. this. It was, it was 100% peaceful, wasn't it? 20 million people on the streets some days, and it's kind of extraordinary that it stayed so good humoured. And, and I it might well continue. It might well I don't continue. I think we've seen the last of the protests. I don't think. I don't think we have. But a lot of people kind of just saying the street art. Could we focus a little bit more on this and the crusty old generals and politicians <laughs> in coverage of the Iraq in Algeria? This is a popular movement defined by creativity and joy. Donald Hassett, they're making Young that people, comment. Artists, yeah, intellectuals, teachers, nurses. That's it. Doctors. That's it. Ordinary people. And it, it just you know, uh, uh, people giving flowers to the police, hugging the police, yeah. and the police kind of the police just kind of melted under all of this attention. They, could, they, they you know, they definitely yeah. their sympathies were, I think, a lot, a lot with the people. Yeah. This is a cartoon by Dilem again, talking about the fears that this could be a kind of a coup d'état that is a. Uh, that is um, made up to look like something else, and that's a makeup uh, mm -hmm. sort of uh, play on words there with the general uh, wearing a makeup. And I suppose just on that point, people saying, you know, this was a revolution uh, where people were calling for all of the elite to go, really, all of the power clique to go. And they're talking about three Bs in this headline here, Laura. Uh, Abdelaziz Ben Salah, the president of the, of the equivalent of the Senate, uh, uh, ben Bedoui and uh, Belaiz, just giving the surnames of the other two, the Prime Minister and President of the Constitutional Council, uh, respectively. People are saying they all have to go as well. We don't want to see the same faces sort of as part of the transition. And indeed, there does appear to be a bit of a crackdown. Uh, the CEO of Sonatrack has been banned from leaving Algeria. Others wondering if Chakib Khalil could be next, former president of OPEC. Remember, Algeria, of course, an oil-rich nation, former energy minister as well. People want to see those who are embroiled in corruption in Algeria also paying the price in terms of this uh, change. This is El Manchar again wondering, could this be a work in progress? You, you see there the Last Supper, a sort of a reworking of Da Vinci's Last Supper with uh, various figures already out, if you like. I suppose uh, yeah. uh, Bouteflika and his but brothers. Some but, very much still in. but some very much still in. I'm hoping that others will go. Now, just very quickly, this is an editorial saying, everybody out again on Friday. 
We need to celebrate what happened, but we need to insist that the army don't take advantage and don't take control. Mm. You've had people tweeting from people across the region about as well. Egypt, aren't they? That's right. Uh, there's this one tweet, one tweet from this particular Egyptian human rights activist saying, "Don't stop demonstrating as long as the army has not exited the political realm. Don't be fooled by a military salute." Okay, good note to end on that one. All right, yeah. James, thank you very much. Thanks, James Creedon there.